Cultivate Sarnia 2021 was a project of churches within the Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada and some local farmers where the churches raised money, the farmers grew crops, and through the Canada Food Grains Bank, the government matched our contributions four to one. This year, we raised over $230,000 to go towards a project in the Democratic Republic of Congo, one of the largest countries in Africa and a country in great need. Recently, I was in on a Zoom call with David Adcock of the Emergency Relief and Development Overseas and Pastor Faizi of Goma City DRC. Here's some of what was said in that conversation. Uh, Pastor Faizi is a, um, from Congo, uh, was actually a refugee himself, felt the call of God and is now the humanitarian assistance coordinator for all the CPAC churches. I'm very happy to be part of this platform. DRC is one of the most affected countries in Africa with this war and the other disasters, including natural disasters, uh, pandemics and so on. They are really suffering in the remote villages. In education, um, food security, psychosocial support, NFIs, uh, non-food items, support everywhere we can get it. And thank you, praise God, that we are able to get also uh, Erdo and Canadian Ford Food Grand Bank in to contribute to something small we have been doing already. An IDP is called, is an internally displaced person. So that's somebody that's essentially a refugee in their own country. Everybody, whether you're an internal refugee, an IDP, or, or a refugee, you are leaving your home. Um, these are mothers and fathers uh, that want to look after their children. These are children that just want to find the stability of home. Uh, we have so many stories and uh, testimonies, both in the villages and in the camps. I remember when we went to, to share the preliminary info about this uh, park and the Food Grand Bank assistance, when they saw us coming and they said, the church is the church. It is different from other angels. <laughs> other angels, when they come, they can work for two or three years, and when they go, they go forever. But, but the church still remembers to come back and to see what is going on where I have been working. <laughs> and, and that's the heartbeat of what uh, you're doing. That's the heartbeat of what we're doing together is that we, are, we want to strengthen the work and the witness of the church because organizations come and, and go, but the church of Jesus will go on. Our total contribution to the DRC in 2021 will feed thousands of people. Just think of it, we are feeding and ministering to a town the size of Petrolia for six months because of your generosity Thank you for participating in this project. Over 6,000 people of a six month program that will, will continue. So I want you to hear from us uh, our profound thanks for the farmers that have contributed, for have donated land, for the people that have given seed, for the workers that, that harvested, for, the, for Pastor Troy and Merle Hazard and many pastors that are leaning in. This We do this all uh, uh, together. So uh, for me, from all of us at Erdo, from Pastor Faizi in, in the DRC, please hear our profound thanks as we journey together. May God bless you.